what the Reg is up fam if you're new here my name is Terry Ann or TA and I am a Connecticut based lifestyle youtuber and um, today is Wednesday November 30th 2022 it is like 11 o'clock in the morning and today is my mom's 69th birthday so crazy so she's out there with Penny right now no days off <laughs> no but it's uh, it's a Wednesday so I should be working but I'm not actually working because I got invited to an event and it was such a cool well I think it's going to be such a cool event but it's such a dream brand that I was like I can't turn this down so I got invited to a holiday party with Neiman Marcus in Boston and normally I've been getting a lot of invites for Boston stuff because if you guys are new here I used to live in Boston I moved to Boston. I'm originally from Connecticut. And after college, I went to Boston for law school and I lived out in Boston for a decade, uh, just in law school and then um, working, like starting my career off in Boston. And that's where I met like my husband and everything. And when I got pregnant with um, our daughter, uh, shortly after we got like married, we moved here to Connecticut to be closer to my family because my mom, helps us with the baby um, which is y'all I'm starting to realize the value in my mom's services because we're starting to look at daycare for a penny because we wanted to go like a couple days a week and it is like tens of thousands of dollars um, so my mom has been doing us a solid these past almost nine months now so anyways so because I was like blogging and stuff out in Boston for so many years I still get invited to a lot of Boston events but we are about like two hours from the city itself. We can get into Massachusetts pretty fast, like within minutes because like Springfield is like right next to us. But um, to get into Boston, Boston, it takes about two hours. And so I've been getting invited to a lot of things that I just kind of turned down because I'm like, it's not worth the drive. Um, but when I got this invite from Neiman Marcus to join them for their holiday party, it's in Copley. So like, I, th I think that's like where the Prue is, like at the Prudential. I was like, oh my God, like I'm not a fashion girly. Um, so I was just like, why me? But also why not me? I need to like embrace my worth. Like, and Mike was like, you should do it. You should take the day off. You should go into Boston on your own and like, do this event so it feels like a lot to be going all the way into boston for it it's just like from five to seven and it's drinks it's some food and then there's going to be a gift exchange and obviously it's neiman marcus so i'm sure the gifts are going to be fire but um it's a good way to network and that's a lot of what i've been doing recently moving to connecticut i've been trying to like establish myself in the connecticut blogging scene and that means like saying yes to projects for free or like a lot less money than I normally would and just like doing things at a good faith so that people recognize me my Instagram and my brand it's about creating and cultivating that brand recognition so I've already done that work in Boston so I get invited to a lot of things and I get a lot of work from there uh, but I need to do that here in Connecticut but I'm nervous because I don't know who's gonna be there and I'm gonna be like alone at this event um, so it'll it's a good way to get me out of my shell and network and talk to some people and hopefully I can make some friends you guys it is a long time later I am embarrassed with how long it took to get ready um, but I really took my time I didn't have anything to do so I um, took my time getting ready doing my makeup and everything um, and really try to like put an effort into thinking about what my outfit would be because I just I'm, I mean, I'm not like a fashion girl <laughs> I like like the way I dress and I dress comfortably and I try to pick cute things But like, you know fashion influencers how cool they are and I just do not feel like I align with that <laughs> um, So yeah, 
so I put some effort in so I'm wearing like a black turtleneck but underneath like I layered it with a um, like a what is this like a copper colored satin dress and then like I put a necklace over the turtleneck and like I tried to make it cute and I'm wearing like high boots hopefully I get some pictures in this outfit because I feel cute in this outfit um, but I'm leaving now it's 1 30 now and uh, it took a little longer but like I had to get ready and then I had to you know nurse Penny get her kind of calm and I'm glad I didn't spend the whole day in Boston like I think I was planning on doing because it's hard to be away from Penny for a very long time and my milk is like starting to dry up so I don't have a lot of reserve milk left in the freezer so I'm trying to like figure out nursing and like not using all our milk so it's a whole thing but I'm starving so I'm going to drive straight to the restaurant called French Quarter in Boston and but I'm gonna stop and get some gas so I'm gonna go straight there eat and then um because i think i'm gonna get there around three o'clock we'll see how to put it into the gps i think i'm gonna get there around like three which will give me like time to eat and i think by the time i'm done eating and like pay everything it'll be time to go to the event um so so uh so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and let's let's get it it's a really gloomy gray rainy day so So again, years and years, 47 years of service, he's been in the fire department. Um, he started off as, uh, just like myself, a peon, basically, as we called it, and then, oh, CD, even, even, even lower than a peon, <laughs> CD. Um, and then he's worked his way up through uh, as lieutenant, captain, um, assistant chief, uh, chief, deputy chief, back to chief, I think it was. <laughs> he's had about every title there was in the five. Actually, he was the first one to get the deputy chief, which was a, a new position that they put together. He's held every position. So, again, congratulations, David. And uh, again, just so everybody can see, this is a, from the station, members of Engine 2. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ray. Hey guys, it is now November 3rd. It's 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. I'm checking my text messages. Today is um, Penny's cousin's birthday. It's Aviana's first birthday. Well, it's her first birthday party. And it starts at 1, so... We've been hardly trying to get like ready. I just finished getting ready. Mike, I got Penny ready early to give her her bath and everything and realized that I never wrapped Aviana's gift and you know, I have a card. So I wrapped Avi's gift and Mike is out with Penny now grabbing a card and a ribbon to put on it. Um, we were supposed to leave here at 12. I think Mike said the latest 12.15 and it's four minutes after 12 now. So. I'm expecting him to walk in any moment. I'm done. I just like want to get my jacket on and like make sure we have everything. Um, so it's a hurried morning as always. This is why the, the vlogs are so infrequent these days because I'm really trying to get into some sort of a rhythm, some sort of a routine and it's hard. Like I'm always tired when there is time to edit and things like that. That's them. 
Um, yesterday, last night, we went to Massachusetts for my dad's retirement party. Let me get in the house. Um, and here they are. Mm -hmm. Mike. It's underneath the thing. Penny. Okay, cool. So let me write that up and get everything on. Oh, this bow is the cutest. You did a good job. Nice. You did a really good job. Yeah. And this, this, oh, this is cute too. Okay. It's literally the only number one for a girl that there was, so it doesn't matter if it's cute or not, it was the only one. It was the only one. All right. So let me go stick this onto this present and we will quickly get out of the house. If you want to try to put her sneakers on, Penny got I Jordan's. To, I have to put my contacts in and everything. First. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. 